guys i hope you're well so today i'm going to do the video that everybody has asked me about for such a long time i literally since my first since my first video on youtube everybody has been asking about my hair and my hair care routine my hair how i maintain it what do i do what do i wash it with i wanted to share with you my products that i use on a day-to-day -day basis and the kind of tips and tricks that i do to keep my hair healthy happy and grow really long as it does so I just sat down and done this video. I'm really lucky to say that Mane and Tail collaborated with me on this video. Um, I will be talking about their range, which I have been using for around three years, which is insane. It is a really nice, um, affordable range. So anybody can get it. It's around seven pound mark. If there's any more questions that you have about my hair, please leave a comment down below. And I'll make sure to respond to you. But yeah, onto the video. First thing I do, I jump into the shower. I use the deep moisturizing shampoo by Mane and Tail. I use a hefty amount of the shampoo and I put it throughout my hair. I usually use it twice to make sure that I get rid of the whole entire weekly dirt out of my hair. Then I follow up with the deep moisturizing conditioner. I always make sure to put the conditioner at the end of my hair to put the moisture back into my ends of my hair where it really needs it. I've realized it's going to be hard to put all my hair in one frame but we're going to work with it um, so my hair's damp um, towel dried and I usually just kind of leave my hair to air dry I try to avoid using heat tools every day I maybe use um, a straightener or a curler once a week so I got a question from one of you asking about brushing your hair when wet so what I do I usually do a detangler so this one's the maiden tail detangler it's really nice it comes in a huge bottle i've used it for so long honestly guys I just kind of go all the way around my hair that should be enough if you have thinner hair just use it sparingly and then i just brush my hair with the wet brush which i absolutely love so i would say brushing your hair when wet with a normal head um brush isn't recommended because you can break it but look it's just i've not even brushed my hair once and it's already like detangled that product is magic i really like this brush as well because it's really delicate doesn't pull your hair and i do get really bad knots like it is it's crazy so i just like the fact that this doesn't pull my hair or break it even further so i would usually just leave my hair like this and let it air dry uh, which i kind of do 90 percent of the time i do avoid my hair dryer because i don't like to put heat in my hair that comes with styling as well For the purpose of the video i will use a hair dryer to speed it up Okay, so that took me five years. I was a massive fan of a curl and kind of like a messy wave for a very long time. But I think today I'm going to go for a very straight look. There's so much hair. Like, a lot of you might be like wondering how much hair I actually have on my head. There's a lot. So before going over the straightness, I'm going to use the Mane and Tail Hair Straightener, which... I mean, if you've not seen me use this before, I'll be surprised. So then I just brush through the product again. And to be honest, if you're in a rush or if you don't particularly want to use the extra heat on your hair, you can just leave it like this because the product gives you a really nice kind of sleek look. I'm actually kind of feeling this right now. Hmm. When I just straighten my hair, I mean, it's not... So when I okay, so another question that I got now. Okay, so I just parted my hair and I'm gonna go with the straighteners. I am using the Cloud9 straighteners on the 150 heat. So you can go up to high, but actually, okay, I'm gonna go to 170. I never usually go for high because you will burn your hair. So sometimes the higher you go, it's not the better you're going to get a result. But I've asked you guys a couple questions on Instagram and I wanted to go through them. 
So one of your questions was, have you ever had bangs? Fringe. Uh, yes, I have. When I was 15 years old. And honestly, I thought I had a big forehead and I can really do with a fringe. And when I got it, I looked like a man. Also, when I was 15, I wasn't allowed to wear makeup. So there was absolutely no help. And my hair is so thick. So it was just a block of hair on my head. Another question is, do you get any gray hair? So I'm 24 and I've been getting gray hair since I was 20. Um, I mean, I'm not particularly bothered by it because it's just pigment. Like nobody's going to freak out over it. And if they do, whatever. Yes, I do get gray hair here and there. Sometimes I get like a stripe of white and I'm just like, wow. My family were really, really blessed with really thick locks. But with that, we get gray hair really early on. The only thing that I am kind of annoyed about is that I will have to dye my hair. Oh my gosh, I just don't have time for it. All the patience. But if you have gray hair, just embrace it. Like, it's honestly not a big deal. Another question is, have you ever dyed your hair? I have had few looks. I've dyed my hair black once, which isn't like a huge difference, but it did look different to me and i wanted to be a little bit darker and um, i did go like really light blonde no really light brown slash blonde that was a huge mistake because i'm just so dark blonde and light colors like on my head does not suit me at all yes i also had a dip dye for a very long time i want to say around two years maybe when dip dye was you know the thing to do the worst dip dye you have ever seen. It was disgusting. It was just pure bleach at the ends of my hair, almost yellow, and I never really toned my hair because I was 16 and didn't even think I needed to tone it. Since dyeing my hair really light blonde, I went back to my natural color, which is this. Even after I've bleached my hair quite light, um, I've only done it once, so my hair restored really quickly. With that, and I think the less you do to your hair, if you can, if you don't have to dye it, don't because your natural hair is so beautiful you're just going to have a nice healthy hair a lot of you are telling me to cut my hair and i'm just not ready like i'm not ready to say bye to it i really like it i wanted to have long hair for summer for a really long time and i think this is going to be the summer where my hair is going to be the best can i also just say my hair smells amazing and it's so soft not to the point when it's like fluffy soft which I hate because then it feels like chicken feathers. What is your go-to drugstore shampoo and conditioner? Since in college, I have been using Mane and Tail and I love it so much. I'm a huge fan of the um, herbal shampoo and conditioner as well. So that's the kind of my favorite because it is very detoxifying, but I have been going in between the two. So the deep moisturizing range is amazing for a thick hair. You would think it's going to weigh your hair down, but it completely doesn't. It just makes your hair super, super clean, um, really nice and soft, and it nourishes the ends of your hair without even putting conditioner on. So it is perfect. Um, the shampoo itself, the shampoo itself, you don't need a lot to kind of like lather your hair especially like look how long my hair is and i need like the half amount of um shampoo which i would use normally okay another question is how often do you cut your hair and my hairdresser geordie will laugh at this because last time i saw her was actually a few months ago and we cut my hair i know believe it or not still very long um but we did cut my hair but previously my last haircut with her was when i went really short so last time i saw her was this long so i don't go to hairdressers too often my hair is pretty good condition but just because i do not use a lot of like heat on it i'm very particular with products that i use for my hair oh my god this is this is really attractive right now isn't it if you want your hair to grow, if you want your hair to be strong, just really put your tools down and don't use heat on it. Um, and if you do, make sure you put any heat protectants on your hair so it doesn't get burned because if it burns, it's going to essentially shrink. Because if your hair burns at the ends, all, you can, all you're seeing is kind of this breaking. So it's always going to look a little bit shorter. It's never going to be long. 
Um, I mean, not the best advice, but when before my haircut with Jordi, I would kind of just go through my ends and see whatever like I had to cut, and like if there was any split ends, I would just kind of hack it. But when I did go to see her, my hair was all kind of weird. My haircut is pretty fresh. I can have my hair straight and have this kind of like blunt finish, especially when I do my ponytail. I love it because it is so blunt, like a little brush. Okay, so this is the finished look of my hair. It's so silky, oh my god. And my whole house smells of the products because I've been spraying it in my hair and I love it so much. I actually am obsessed. Ooh, yes! My hair literally feels so silky smooth. It is perfect. Can I say that about my hair? It's a Sunday and I usually wash my hair on a Sunday and a Wednesday. They're my hair wash days where I'm really busy and I have no time for you. I only wash my hair twice a week. Um, I really think the more you wash your hair, the more dependent it is on the product. All up to you. If you have shorter hair, you can wash it more often. But when it comes to long hair, I would definitely stick to two day max. Um, I'm really lucky that my hair doesn't get too greasy. Um, it can't last the three days with no washing almost get away with not washing my hair for an entire week and to some it might sound really gross but it's just the type of my hair just doesn't get greasy so i really wanted to share with you another products that i'm using and i do really love and i want to talk to you about some products when you have to maintain your hair for that whole entire week when you don't wash it so obviously now my hair is perfect um, nothing wants to touch it and to kind of refresh your hair throughout the week i use this evo love touch shine spray it smells of watermelon i'm not going to put it in my hair now because it's going to be way too much product but it just smells so good so this is perfect if you're going to the gym, if you want to just kind of refresh before you're going out for drinks. Just put that shine spray in your hair and it's going to refresh it immediately. It's a really lovely product and a cruelty free. Another product that I really like and has really saved my hair on many occasions from looking really, really bad to great um, is the Orbe Super Shine Moisturising Cream. And you would think it's going to make your hair greasy. Absolutely not the case. It styles your hair for you. So... Usually when I had um, curly hair and you know when it kind of clumps a bit, you just brush it through, put your moisturizer in your hair and it just refreshes your hair so much and it looks like washed. This is another great product to avoid styling your hair on an everyday basis. It can make your two day hair look like it's just come out of the salon so this is perfect. So on the fourth day of not washing my hair, I always kind of go with a dry shampoo. This is the IGK First Class Charcoal Detoxifying Dry Shampoo. I absolutely love this product. I love the whole entire range of dry shampoos from this brand. Um, I mean, I do use, I actually haven't used Batiste for a very long time now. This goes such a long way. I've had it for maybe four months now and it's still kind of like halfway through. It is super fine, doesn't leave any residue. It smells incredible, does the job, looks really good on your vanity. Honestly, dry shampoo, where have you been? So that's it for the video. Thank you so much guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. It's been a very long time coming for me to sit down and do a haircut tutorial for you guys. I know how much you wanted to hear about it. But if there's anything that I've missed out from this video, please DM me on Instagram and I'll make sure to get back to you. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.